Welcome to the Pearl L. Crawford Memorial Library Board of Trustees meeting Tuesday, May 24th. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So the first order is to review meeting minutes from April 26th. And I would like to make a motion. Right. Make a motion to accept the minutes of April 26th. Seconded. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And I emailed everyone the meeting minutes from May 2nd um, to you this afternoon, except for you. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I, 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 I will have them to you. I did forget. Oh, wait. And this is a copy for anybody that needs to read it this evening. That if you strength? didn't have an opportunity to read it this afternoon. I have my own. And I'll accept the motion. It was pretty quick. So. Yeah, oh, so I was saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. In the bill, yeah. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So that is done. Can I just snag one of the copies from the May 7th? You all get emailed it, so. Yep, sure. All right, so the next is director's report. Um, so programs, uh, to start with, as you can see from my report, we have a few things coming up, and in fact, we've added another two since I did this. Summer reading is, is as always, going to be uh, a busy season. Um, we're also in the process of adding a couple of more um, paint nights and a couple more craft programs because of how popular those have been. So we're working on that. Um, I'm talking to Julie St. Francis about scheduling yoga for um, yoga classes in the future and trying to figure out what the best schedule options because right now she's been doing yoga at Webster mm -hmm. at 9 and then coming to us at 11 which is we're not getting yeah I don't think either library is getting as many people as we right. could because it's yep. back to back yep. so talking to her about what options are um, but so that's all kind of could it be work. considered like an after school um, the problem is that she is a school teacher oh. <laughs> so that, that has because I asked about yeah. doing like a day a weekday chair yeah. yoga program yeah. mm -hmm. as we've had in the past but because she's a school teacher that doesn't work so we're, we're oh. Exchanging emails with options. Um, okay. But yes, so we're going to be busy over the next couple of months. Um, everybody plan to sign up for summer reading. When is your first, day, when's your opening day of summer reading? June 18th is the kickoff. All right. Um, with animal adventures, which means we are going to have, I know there's a porcupine coming. Um, <laughs> there's a Coatamundi coming, and I'm not sure what else is coming. The only reason I know about the Coatamundi is because I had to spell check it. Um. <laughs> Yeah. What, what is it? What is it? Sorry. It's a furry thing. That's all I can tell you. And I think it. they're from South America. Yeah. But I had to spell check because I was like, that is a really weird word. Um, but so that is our kickoff and our sign up. Um, we've got prizes coming in already. Lita is, is excellent with getting donations of prizes. Um, she managed to get us, the friends covered the cost of $25, and for that $25, one of the prizes we have is a, an American Girl doll, whoa, whoa. which goes for a lot more than $25, yeah. um, wow. but like so she managed to get that. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of cool prizes coming in and some cool prizes for adults and so on. Um, for adults, we've got a gift uh, package from uh, Treehouse Brewery. Nice. Um, <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be definitely <laughs> interested in that. So... Uh, so that they've started coming in, um, the teen volunteers have been stuffing the bags with, you know, for as kids register. Um, so yeah, 
We're, it will be here before we know so it. So will the, like, I don't know how many animals are coming. Are they just a couple animals? I think there's four. So is this an outdoor thing, like the other um, animals, or indoor I'm things? not sure which they would prefer. Oh, okay. um, what we've done before with indoor animal programs yeah. is um, put them in the children's department so they can come in that side door right there, and then we put, like, drop cloths down. Because um, Burpee and Records has done programs for us before where yeah. they've brought a couple of animals in to talk about the animals, yeah. and they've, they've brought them in, and we've just had, like, yeah. drop cloths down. So... Um, yeah, but it's not a petting zoo as such. It's more a, you know, okay. here's this critter and learn about this. Oh. See, you can come learn what a Kawada Mundi is. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's there's all kinds of programs happening uh, for, for summer reading and uh, crafting boot camp. And uh, I know that they're going to learn rug hooking and embroidery. And I'm not sure what the other crafts are at this point. Um, but yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff coming up and we are going to be very busy this summer. And I know I tried to sign up for Mommy and Me and it was already booked. As it is, as the I waiting it. list, the waiting list is insanely long. So I'm yeah. already talking to Jean about when we can schedule oh, uh, well, additional. Oh, the waiting list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's the theme? for that do they have does she have a she has kid. not come up with one yet <laughs> she's working oh, on figuring out because she wanted to know how many kids um so we have several parents who've registered with more than one child yep. so she wanted to know that and then we have to worry about the ages and, and that was my next thing is what are the what ages um we said five and up okay um so i think most of the kids are between five and ten um but yeah so we're looking at scheduling another one of those and another adult paint night which i think think we finally nailed down a date and yes so we're busy when is the mom and me uh thing? june 13th oh it's not on here it is, yeah, it is. Yep. yep june 13th yep 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 mommy and me paint night oh i'm looking at past did you send us a new one would you update because oh i didn't get that did i i sent it to everybody it's here Hang on. Because that's when I was like, then that's when my V light is. And I went and it was full and I was like, wait, Liz. I don't have that. I printed everything off of your directive before. You must have sent it what? Yeah. Like uh, when was it? It was Thursday. So I know that it was oh, like last that. week, yeah. It's here. Oh yeah, this is good. All of July. I don't yes. know. I definitely don't have that. I have April through June. I, I don't. I, yeah, I, that's I, the one that printed. Last month. That was last month's. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> April 26th. It's past. It's last you, you need the future. Yep. <laughs> I printed the wrong one. I was going to say, Oops. I know I sent it. Now I need your whole thing. See, I'm happy okay, you, you, are. you do. <laughs> See, you this do is, packets. This is <laughs> why I print multiple things. Right. Yes. Because I printed um, the wrong one. But yes, so we are, we are heading into our busy season. Um, and we are all ready for this um, budget we are looking to finish out the year in good shape um, we're actually for once going to manage to spend it'll be slightly over our materials requirement which Ooh. is good yeah. um, but since we are under a couple of other line items mm -hmm. we're still going to come in where we should budget wise mm -hmm. um, but yeah so we, we should end the year in in good shape okay. uh, as far as budget goes um, facility report, they were here today putting in new LED lights. Um, we had to have a bit of a conversation because I had had a conversation with the gentleman about the fact that we wanted warmer light, you know, where our library is a very warm feel. And I came in this morning and went, whoa. No, they didn't put in, but they can usually flip they a switch. Did, they did, but um, they had already done all of the lights over oh. the stacks in the reading area. And I was like, no, guys, see when I said warm light, that's not it. Um, <laughs> they so they went really They went and, and actually the switch. Um, they climbed up and actually it was good. They have got one young man working with them who I think is an apprentice. So he learned how to do that. <laughs> that was as part of that process. So. Um, they should have, they should be able to finish up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They've got just about everything done. Um, they did my office <laughs> and very nicely tweaked the level because I have two full size fixtures in my little office and so it was really, really bright. Mm -hmm. um, so they very nicely dimmed it a little bit so that I'm not blinded. Mm -hmm. um, 
and the electric vehicle stations are up and running. Uh, John Ruda has yet to figure out what the like rates for that um, and the hours of operation are. I'm um, just to say, are they usable yet? Yes, they are usable. Okay. Um, I had talked to John Ruda about what uh, you know that we wanted them to be functional only during library hours, but he is the one who has to set that, and I understand he hasn't done that yet. So. Um, the gentleman, so the guy who's overseeing the, the LED light fixtures is the same guy who oversaw that project, the same yep. contractor. So he was going to nudge John Ruta for me to get that done. Um, and I don't think there's anything else facilities wise. Can't think of anything. Um, so the only other thing I need to ask the board is uh, we have an employee, and Ethier is. Uh, has reached her 11 year anniversary um, and is therefore entitled to another week of leave time um, based on that. However, she accrues the time the first week in June and would have to use it by June 30th. So what we have done in the past is ask that that time be carried over for another year. Yeah. Um, and the town has decided that they would like the boards okay on that. Yeah, that uh, seems very instance. realistic. Her higher and date she's was that already late, she's so. already said that she plans to use it in the summer, so she would not yeah. be carrying it over for enormous amounts of time. Mm -hmm. sure. I will take. I will make a motion. Yeah. I would take a motion. Motion that Anne Ethier be allowed to take her let, uh, the week she earned by being an eleven year uh, employee be allowed to take that into the next fiscal year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and hi, Joanne. <laughs> let, me, let me turn you up. Can you put hi there. Sorry, I was on mute. No, I'm going to ask her to put her on that. Yeah, table. I'm going to I'm going to turn her around. Sorry, we're going to make you seasick, Joanne. <laughs> I'm turning this around. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Right, take one would it be pass. better though if she's on that table because then she has her own she can do the microphone right to okay. the, the hang on you're going for a walk Joanne <laughs> she'll survive she will survive oh, hopefully you don't unplug. oh she has a cord there we go I don't know where is the microphone though yeah yeah I don't know where the microphone is there we go thank you okay wait Five. Hi there. Hi. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you for coming to Zoom. Sure. Uh, the lights dimmer would be better. Okay. Yeah, which is what everyone is getting as it goes around. Okay. okay. And I can also put it up on the screen. Does that help? Yes, if please. I might just have a laptop, would it help for me to share it, or is it just easier? For you guys to I'm gonna guess it's probably because you're way I over there. Say, yeah, I, I <laughs> would say yeah. smaller. Yeah, <laughs> it would be even smaller. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess the only thing about that though is okay. Hold on one second. Let me just have another monitor here so I could just pull it up so I can see. Okay. So just to um, update everyone where we're at. Um, we finished um, the phase called design development. Um, so basically, we still have one more phase, which is the construction document phase. That's uh, that's the last phase where all the drawings will be final, final. Um, that would be the set that goes out to bid. So this is still an interim set um, of drawings. Um, basically, it's an update from the last from last month um, when we. Uh, kind of finalize some decisions on, you know, exactly which bench you want, and um, we've talked about the fencing and the gates, so all that's incorporated into this um, package, and, um, but, you know, the package is not complete, um, but it does uh, include uh, most of the drawings that will be in the final, in the final package, but, um, as of yet, the you know we're, we just have this uh, phase where um, we've sort of uh, pinpointed most most everything on the you know in the design, um, but there's still 
you know, work to be done in, in terms of our drawings. Um, another update is, uh, you know, last month uh, the geotechnical engineers uh, were approved to be uh, contracted, which we did, I did, um, um, on behalf of you. Um, they have, um, they're contracted to do testing on the site uh, to uh, see how far down and where the uh, ledge and the rock is so that um, our structural engineers can design appropriate footings uh, which, would, which are dependent on what type of subsurface uh, condition the geotechnical uh, testing company will find. So, Priscilla, I don't know, did you see anybody out there? Uh, there, the um, flags have magically appeared, surveyors' flags magically appeared this morning. Um, so they are due to be there on Thursday to do the actual drilling. Uh, but somebody has yeah. been out there, but between all of the lighting people, and oh. there were like eight <laughs> lighting trucks, yeah. so we kind of missed when they were there. But yes, I noticed that there are flags. Well, dig safe too. Dig safe's there before yeah. before they do it, dig safe has to come. Yeah, there's there were when I pulled in this morning there were like eleven work trucks in the parking lot. <laughs> so uh, but yes, there are surveyor flags, so at least we've gotten that far. You know, marking yeah, marking the sites. I would imagine on your parking lot they've spray painted yeah. where there are utilities, you know, where the water line is or mm -hmm. sewer line. Um, they're not planning to drill anywhere in the parking lot, so, but, you know. Well, they also decided to mark the sewer line over by my office, which is the wrong end of the building, and I was like, guys, you know, <laughs> that's not where you, I think they just got carried away. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, you know, yeah, they're doing it their own job. Um, so, uh, right, so they'll be doing the drilling and the testing and test it on Thursday, and, um, we were told that like within um, two weeks they should um, be able to, uh, so they're, um, after they do a dr the drilling, they will um, prepare a report for us um, that will document what they found, um, you know, how far down the, the ledge is, um, what the kind of soil conditions are for stability and structural uh, uh, strength and things like that. Um, and they told us that like at two weeks after uh, they're on site, um, they won't have their report ready, but they will uh, be able to uh, give us information so that we can continue our drawings and our details uh, based on you know what they know before they have the final report written. Um, so that gives us sort of like a jump on being able to design and you know. Uh, appropriately and, and adjust things if it looks like um, there's any kind of problems, um, subsurface conditions that are problematic. Um, so it's great to have all that underway. We're um, uh, looking forward to, to getting that information. Um, right now, you know, we're thinking we're going to shoot for getting the drawings package complete um, by your next uh, meeting, which I imagine is in four weeks. Um, so I guess I'd have to ha say if the if they're testing, you know, um, finds anything that makes it, um, if, you know, if they find something and we have to, we need more time to develop the details or any other thing, you know, there there might be a little bit of a slip in in that um, in getting that the, the drawings done, but we are shooting for trying to get it done, you know, within the next four weeks. Um, so so to go over uh, the package, um, the drawing package, um, the first sheet which is uh, Number L-100 is just the survey. Um, it's, it's just the survey information. Um, the next sheet is L-101. Uh, that's what we call the site check and um, demolition plan. It indicates um, you know, what the contractor needs to do 
um, in terms of removals. Uh, basically, he's um, going to um, take out the existing um, curve. Um, we're going to store the granite so that we can re reinstall that granite um, because we're going to move the, the edge of the parking lot out um, in, I guess, in about four feet. Um, it basically, I think you remember after the arborist came, basically all the big trees are going to be removed because they're either in bad health or they're, they're mostly in bad health, but where they're not growing in a way that, um, that will um, keep them alive very long, like double leaders or lopsided. Um, so that, that's what this plan is about. Um, it just indicates to them uh, what needs to be removed. Uh, the next plan is our site materials plan. Um, so starting on the bottom of the sheet, which uh, you can barely see the edge of the library building on the bottom, uh, we are going to um, uh, put in a new uh, concrete sidewalk from the back door of the children's room, um, kind of along the building and then to cross the, the, the parking lot um, so we get to the sidewalk. Why are, you ex be, why are you expanding it out from the existing building, the sidewalk out from the children's room? Uh, because there is no sidewalk. The sidewalk doesn't go in the right direction. The sidewalk goes off that way, and we need it to go so that way straight across oh, okay. to the entrance. All right. Yeah, so that that's it's only grass. Over so there. that's what I thought. And yeah. saying that she was gonna. Uh, there's a, a there's a like a sidewalk that is at that side door yes. from the children's, goes but it goes that front. way. Okay. So we need it to we need to build off straight. of it and go that way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, it, I, actually, you know, now that you mentioned it, that probably could be an optional sidewalk because you could go the other way, right? And it would take you, you know, we're still creating a walkway, crosswalk, curb cut, ramp and everything to the bottom of the accessible sloped path. Like, so this, this sidewalk that I was talking about would take you no, to I the, think I want to. <laughs> sort of like the main entrance with the steps, right, that go up. Yeah, I think I like uh, the I like the steps, that main entrance. Like I like that. Have its own I think they should have. We should have I two. Agree. I agree. Yes. Well, okay. Accessible from the children's right? room, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. We agree. Like that. that yeah. Was kind of like that was our thinking too. It's like, oh, yeah, well, that's going to direct our Yeah. You know. So um, we are proposing to add a sidewalk to there. Um, there'll be no the, there'll be are there, excuse me, are there plantings in front of those windows? You seem to have the sidewalk go right in front of the windows. They are not the, right next to the windows. It is. It's, it's out. That's that's what this little oval thing is. Okay. That's, this oval that's where is the, the planting. planting. Yes. So there's nothing uh, up against. There's the nothing building. up so against the building. Moving. Yes. Okay. So this goes around the gotcha. yeah, okay. the Thank tree. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so at the at the curbs, at all the curbs, will be a, one of those handicapped curb cut ramps, right? Yeah. Um, that's crosswalks will be painted, a painted crosswalk across the parking lot. Um, as we talked about, you know, there'll be main, uh, the main granite steps um, that um, lead to the main entrance to the, the garden space. Um, at the top of the steps, um, to the right, there's that slope walk, which uh, will be a less than 5% slope. Mm -hmm. um, it's concrete. Because it's less than 5%, it doesn't require handrails. Um, although on the downhill slot side or the side that's on the parking lot, there will be a granite curb that sticks up six inches. So if, <laughs> if a wheelchair uses the slope walk, they won't a, roll yeah, off the edge of the wall. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, on the other side of the sloped walk is going to be a low retaining wall. So that's going to be a concrete uh, concrete wall, but it will be faced with natural stone. Like field stone that's um, mortar, you know, on, like a veneer with a stone cap. Um, and that, that wall doesn't get very high. It actually starts at the top of the 
uh, steps at just like six inches, and then it it, um, it steps down um, as the ramp goes down, and behind that is that wire mesh fence, which basically says it's about a four foot, it's a four foot high fence that, that also steps down. We, we have drawings, I think, that show that. Um, and once you get, so you'll be uh, facing the, the art piece, the sculpture, and, and that's a question. Have, have you been working with the artist on that piece? Um, the Crawford girls, <laughs> even though they're not girls, but the Crawford girls, have have been working with her. Um, they actually stopped in the library last week and chatted with me briefly. Um, and I was going to send them this packet so they can see where we are and, and ask kind of where they were. I know they've talked to her, but I don't know how far they've gotten. Okay, um, so it would be good for us to coordinate with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so however you want to um, you know, have that set with up. The, like, with the artist, you, you're looking to coordinate yeah, with the Yeah, I was going to say probably yeah. best to put you in touch with Maddie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'll, okay. so, I'll take care so. of that, yeah, when I talk to Joe and Caroline. Okay, great. Yeah, that would be, that would be great. We'd love to work, you know, make sure that, because, um, <laughs> She's not I'm planning assuming... something 20 feet high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and, you know, I'm assuming that the, our contractor will be installing the piece, but, but, mm. but you know, that's all donation. <laughs> that's, that's I don't know what, what the it piece needs. is. So. Yeah. Um, have you guys seen what it, what mm -mm. it no works? <laughs> no. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> they probably look okay. before they start building it. So if the Crawford uh, Ladies are in charge. Oh, yeah. I think oh, right. yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah. it will. I mean, I, I trust them not to come up with something 20 feet high with like flames shooting out of it or something. Yeah, no. <laughs> but because they Kid have friendly. seen where you're planning. Yes. The, yeah. So they have an idea. Of they size. have an idea of where it's going. And I, you know, walked them through the site at one point. But I will, like I said, I will. I was going to send them this packet tomorrow just to say, hey, look at where we are. And by the way. You know, you are here. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's where you're going, yeah. and for yes. for information yeah. purposes, that circle in this diagram is what diameter for their sake? That's a good question. Uh, a, um, that could change, but I think right now it's only like four feet or something. Okay, just so, so yeah. Um, but but uh, yeah, just change. have an idea. And it probably will change, and it could you know could it could. It should be designed for the piece, so mm -hmm. um, I think it's more of more of a location rather than a shape right. or anything at this point, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we'll, but that's, we should definitely coordinate with them and figure that out, which we will. Um, so the, if you're going like through the gates, there'll be double gates there. Uh, we we haven't quite designed the scroll part of the top of the gate or the but we, we do know it's say that again, Joanne. Can you say that? Can you repeat that? Yeah, sure. Um, do you remember the the gates and the fence are yep. a wire mesh, and um, it was asked if we could add sort of like a decorative yeah. scroll on it. So that can move we Nicole's that. request. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Um, I mean, also like we were talking about having the, kind of like a fence you could see through to see the sculpture, right? Well, that's why right? It's wire mesh. So, yeah, that's yeah. the mesh part. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so on the left side is the gardening boxes, and the picnic table. Um, we the square the square there is a um, accessible adult height garden box gardening box. Oh, cool. Okay. It's both it's both an adult and it's also accessible. Uh, the rectangle there's actually two rectangles. Those are on the ground. We have pictures of it if you want to flip to the back pages. Um, so, so those are on the ground for the children, for the children's gardening boxes. And then in the middle is a wood uh, picnic table with benches, um, and the end has a space for a wheelchair, so it's accessible. Perfect. Um, now that we're doing this, I, I remember that you asked to have a picnic bench or something for the kids, and a kid's height, and we 
forgot to add that. So I will put that in my notes. Um, then in the corner there, there's that round circular bench with a back. There's a picture of that on one of the last pages. Um, all the paths are stabilized stone dust, um, which is a natural material. It's not loose, um, but it's softer than concrete. Um, it's, you know, uh, crushed stone dust that's uh, combined with a stabilizing agent. Um, and then, let's see, in the middle is a lawn, it'll be a sodded lawn, uh, a lawn panel, lawn, their open area. On the left, there's going to be a, a that pergola. Um, that one will have um, electrical outlets in it. And um, it's, it has, there's another, there's a drawing of that too. Um, and it has wooden slats, but we are going to um, have the fabricator put a uh, kind of translucent cover on it, so it would be um, rain, weather uh, resistant proof. Rain proof? That's not the word, but <laughs> sorry, I can't think. <laughs> um, keep the rain out. Um, let's see. Then in the middle island, we're going to move those existing round stones that are in that circle right now. We're going to recreate that um, in the middle space. Um, and th that will have planting around it. That's the storytelling circle. Um, and then in this, the far, uh, the kind of island that's to the most right uh, towards the houses, um, sort of like the woodland area which kind of will feel like a cleaned up version of what's already there I mean, we're not moving any of the existing boulders so um, you can see the kind of shaded the regular shaped uh, those are supposed to be the boulders and that's exactly that's where the boulders are we're not moving them so everything sort of uh, designed around the existing boulders um, and then there's the loop path that goes to the back. Um, along the houses, there's going to be a six foot high wood fence. Um, in the back corner, there's the three swinging benches. Um, and then if you go to the next page, the colored page, um, that indicates the different types of, I guess, surfacing. Um, the gray is concrete, the brown is stabilized stone dust. Stone just sort of has a light gray, slightly pinkish. You could pick a slightly pink stone dust. Um, the dark green is all plant beds, um, so they're in the ground. You know, they're just uh, they don't have any kind of edging. Um, and then the the light green is lawn. Okay. Repeat what the dark green is, please. Plant boots. The dark green is all planting. That kids are going to run through? What are we expecting? What yes. kind of planting? Um, they are going to run yeah. through it, whether we want them to or not. Yes. Yes. I'm wondering, what is it? <laughs> ground, ground cover? Um, it's a combination of uh, tree shrubs and ground cover. I don't That's know pretty. if your, uh, your copies can see, but there are little paths. Stepping stones. Yeah, they put stepping stones on the through, previous page. I saw that yeah. through the plantings. So. Yeah, so there's there's places for yeah. the children to run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, and it'll be planted in such a way so that um, there's there would be space for them to run between the plantings. Like kind of like what you kind of could do right now. <laughs> you know, you can walk through there, but it would be planted in such a way so um, there would you know, be plat paths um, through through the planting. So if you go two sheets down, the next sheet is the grading plan, the L104. Um, you know, basically what we try to do is stay as close to the existing grade as possible. Um, all the drainage will be, uh, it'll be graded so that um, just as it is now, all the water will 
flow towards the parking lot. We'll keep that drainage pattern. Um, and all the paths will be, you know, accessible, which means that they won't be in, you know, the steepest slope would be 5%. That's it. You don't need any handrails or anything like that. Um, so all the paths, except for the stepping stones, are accessible. Um, and this grading plan um, will be, like, finalized, you know, at a later date. It, it's not 100% complete. Um, Sheet L106 is the planting plan. So you can see that there are a lot of plants. There's a combination of trees, shrubs, um, grasses, and perennials. And um, good we're tough perennials. To, good. to a, a native Those plant palette. Um, generally speaking, uh, the entry slope, you know, there's going to be a, you know, a, a sloped plant bed there, so we picked uh, plants that are like soil, soil stabilizing uh, plants that you know do well in full sun. Um, there's a combination of trees, um, shrubs, and like a low ground cover that will, will hold the slope. Um, sort of right at the beginning of the steps, we thought there'd be like an ornamental flowering tree, um, like a like a flower and dogwood. Um, we also have some native um, trees in the slope, um, service berry trees, also called amelanchiers. They're native. They bloom early spring. Um, sort of like very conceptually speaking, on the left-hand side, um, that planting is like a, a pollinator garden and has a lot of plants that will attract butterflies um, and birds. Um, like butterfly bush, butterfly weed, um, cone flowers. Um, uh, that's a lot of perennials um, and some um, small uh, flowering trees. Um, in the middle, around the um, story circle, uh, there'll be um, some sort of like it's a uh, woodland planting. Um, so things like witch hazel, which is sort of like an open, loose shrub. So we don't want anything so, you know, you can't see through it. You know, we, and we can prune things up as well so that, you know, you'll see that maybe the, the vertical branching, but um, you'll be able to see through just for supervision, safety, um, but at the same time trying to create, you know, a nice space using, you know, the plants um, so that for the story circle it'll feel, you know, kind of buffered and um, from, you know, the paths. Um, the, the larger area to the right is more of a woodland planting um, with some evergreens like uh, maybe eastern white pine and birches. So a, a very sort of native, natural, woodland sort of feel, you know, with the, um, you know, with boulders, with the boulders and the stepping stones. Um, and then along the, the side with the um, residences, uh, there's a combination of um, smaller trees and larger shrubs sort of the, to um, buffer that that wood fence, and then as you go in the back, there are lower lower shrubs that say, you know, maybe four, three to four feet high. Um, things like mountain laurel, they bloom in May June. Um, uh, other other grasses and things, so that as a kind of continuation, because behind there it feels like a meadow sort of open open field kind of thing. Um, so anybody has any interest in, um, you know, the, the plant list specifically, we'd be happy to, you know, meet with anybody or talk, talk to anybody who has an interest. I know there was someone who came to the meeting a couple months ago who Lines of had a real brain. interest in native plants. Yeah. And so we'd, we'd be more than happy to 
you know, to talk to anybody who's interested in um, developing the plan list further with us. Yeah, but this is, it looks like staggered bloom times, too, so it'll be in bloom much of the spring, which is nice. Yeah, basically, you know, um, in developing the plant palette, you know, we're looking for, well, first things that are interesting for children that, you know, have, like, you know, that attract butterflies and birds and, um, and have you know are aromatic and have you know interesting um, color and seasonal color so that um, you know even the shrubs that we, we choose if you know we choose them because they flower in the spring and then they have fall color um, in the fall to with the trees so um, trying to give a you know a long extended uh, blooming and interest uh, seasonal interest in the planting. Uh, the next sheet, L107, oh, sorry, it's L110. Um, this is, you know, just a view of what it looks like in the parking lot. Um, you'll see the, the four foot high wire mesh fencing, stepping down as the, the slope walk steps down, and then we talked about that corner having the, the, the six foot high wood fence at the corner where we could put, like, the name of the the park. So I guess if, if there's anything that you, you know, you don't have to do it right now, but if there's anything you wanted in, in terms of signage, um, that corner panel um, would be a good place to, to put something. So, you know, let us know. It doesn't, it doesn't have to go on right away, I guess, or but if you'd like something, we can um, design something. Um, the, the next sheet, L104, and the funny, the numbering is kind of odd, but sorry about that. <laughs> um, just, uh, you know, looking, there's sections like in the parking lot, up through the steps, up through the lawn panel, back to the back uh, walkway, get the story walk panels. Um, the sec sec section is just, I think, further down. Um, cutting through the, the slope walkway. Uh, that last section is just looking from the back of the site, the wood fence, how it's gonna have to step down um, to the front. And the next few sheets are our details, which we will continue to uh, develop and work on, especially once we get all this information about the subsurface conditions. Um, we'll modify um, the details so that they all work with whatever we find underground and we'll have our structural engineer um, work with us on those details as well. Um, then L201 are the images of the different um, site amenities that we've already talked about um, and last time the swinging bench, the wood bench at the back, the other curved wood bench, um, we picked a wood gardening box for the kids um, and then a higher box for the adults. We'll just we'll make sure that the, the manufacturer of both of those are the same so that they match. Um, we picked that uh, trash and recycling receptacle. The story, book, the story panel will have wood posts. Um, we are suggesting that the lighting match what's already really? at the library. Really? Interesting. <laughs> hey, hey, we have an estimate now. <laughs> we would like it to match, and maybe we're going to order an extra one. We'll see. I, yeah, I can put you in touch with a guy who can make that happen now that, now that we yes, actually that have would be someone. Really nice. <laughs> okay. I guess um, my question right, is, right. I'm, I'm, my concern is with the fence, and the gapping at the bottom of the fence because it changes level. Is there going to be a gap? In the photos, there is. You well, know, as, as it plantings. goes downhill, there's like yeah, gaps. There'll be plantings in front oh, of yeah. it. Oh, so yeah. So we'll, we'll work that out. We typically um, like to keep the gap um, to a maximum of three inches. Okay. So we, would grade the, we would grade the ground okay. so that it would work with that. Yeah. Okay. So yep. That's also something that when... Um, 
I just think of little children. There. And yeah. Yeah. So that's why we, we keep that space to you know, animals too. Yes. Yeah, very good point. The chickens from yeah. the house on the other side. <laughs> I yeah. missed last month's meeting, so this may have been answered. The mesh, the mesh fence. If I'm standing on the other side near the library. How much am I seeing through this mesh fence? Quite a bit, yeah. It's gonna yeah. be black and it's gonna... But, yeah, yeah, you'll see, you'll, you'll see. see. It's not yeah. close woven mesh. So we'll be able to see yeah. what's going yeah. on yeah. to yeah. see yeah. if there's any excitement. Yes, 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 yes we will. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, when there's not a program question. going on, then it's, it's, if it's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that the, I just wanna know, is that the swing that we picked? Because I thought it had a totally different name. I thought it was like go or something. Like I liked the one that you picked, Drusilla, last when it we is, were looking at them, the and same. I didn't think it, it was this one. Go porch or something like that, and, and it's the same. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's got a, It's the same bench. It's just a different. Okay. Yeah. But no, because I liked those. I liked the lines on that one. Yeah, I liked that one too. Okay. I don't know about orange, but you know, <laughs> a little fluorescent. Yeah, yeah. It really. matches the teen room. It's for go. safety. <gasps> This it's going to clash. Anyone would use that color. It's going to clash with the mountain laurel. Oh. It will. The mountain laurel is like a, <laughs> pink like a coral pink. pink. <laughs> yeah. A question for the trustees. You, I can send you the uh, the color choices. On that. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The trustees would like that. Of course. A question okay. for the trustees and the director. Who's yeah. in charge of watering all these plants to make sure they live? So part right. of the uh, part of the plan, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, Joanne, is that we're going to have an irrigation thing, right. and all I have yeah. to do is oh, I thought, yes. Oh, no, I no, no. We're just going to have a spigot. No, no. We'll, we'll have really a spigot. Have oh, good. We'll have a spigot for, for the raised bed yeah, thing. To do things. But yeah. no, that's that's we're going to have like drip irrigation oh, in. Nice. So all I have to do is go oh and turn it on. Good. That Thank or you. Don't I have off. a time. <laughs> Any irrigation, oh, yeah. irrigation systems have time. Right? Yeah. I was going to say, or you can put it on a timer, but if Good. you notice that it's looking a little parched, you go, Well, huh. there is a water saving thing, and you yeah. cannot water after, between 9 and 5. So it has to be before 9 a.m. or after 5. So I do it when I get in there at 8.30, or I do it on Thursday <laughs> evening. It. and it goes, goes from 3 Timers to 6 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. right. That's exactly right. <clears throat> I had neighbors whose sprinkler was doing that. I was like, 1 a.m., you will be... <laughs> the smart, yeah, right? these the systems are really smart now. Like you, you set some, you know, for yep. when you want them to go, yeah, but they no, also okay, are um, done that. Yeah, no, they, it's, they it's a design build. So if it yeah. rains, yep. you know, they know not to go. Yes, um, that kind of thing. Um, they're they're pretty smart. So um, I think you know, um, I think we'll come out at some point just to um, double check, like. I'd like to know, if, do you know if there is any kind of spigot on that side of the building right now? Oh, on that side um, of the building? Yes, there's one outside the children's room. There should be, yes. Yeah. I've used it. <laughs> There is oh, one there. Excellent. Without I a handle. We had to find the handle that day. The key, the key I know exactly. exactly where the key is. No. Um, yeah, I did. We had to find it. Because <laughs> I had to water that hydrangea last year, so I know exactly where the key is. But there is um, one over there, yeah. But yeah, I think there's one on on three sides of the building. So the only one, I don't think there's one down my end of the building, but yes, there should be one over there. Okay, great, um, that's perfect, all right. Uh, let's see, and then that last sheet is just planting details. Uh, so that's where we're at on the drawings, and I did uh, include a cost estimate. Is that attached to your? No, it's not. Um, it didn't, that part did not come through. The cost oh, estimate. Okay. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, okay. Did you see okay. me on these, um, Joanne? Did you see see me on these, Joanne? I'm sorry, no, I didn't. But okay. I will. Thank okay. you. Yep. Um, so we don't so, have the so cost. It's not going to help. It's not going to help too much for me to put it on the screen, but I could, right? I could do a cost wow. estimate. Um, let's see. I I could put it on. I, I don't know. Oh, that's gonna help, but. <laughs> nothing, I guess, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Everybody okay. zoom in. Uh, no, I'm gonna take really a picture close. of it. If she oh, emails you, send it to me. Yeah, if, if you email it to me, Joanne, I will forward it to everyone. Yeah. I just. Okay, 
Okay. Can oh, we print it, it here? There. It uh, was. Oh, it mm, was in the I don't have any don't access have to, to print it here. That's why I didn't have time to check whether it had gone yeah. through until I'd already gotten up here. Yeah. Just let me just take a picture. How about if I um, put, put it all, the whole thing on the screen? Won't that be better, right? The whole sure. Yes. The whole screen, yes. There you be. go. I don't know if it's very, very clear, though. Like I said, she can email it to me, and I will yeah. forward. OK, so what? I will uh, resend or uh, Joy send just a little. So I, there is a uh, cost estimate, and then there also is a summary of sort of project costs. So that's the hard and soft costs. I guess I'll jump to the bottom line on this cost estimate. <laughs> it's probably, so um, this plan right now and this cost is at 416796 16, right? That includes a 20% contingency of, I'll round it up, $70,000. Um, so this contingency is, uh, we put in, because we're in the design phase, it's a design contingency, you know, because I'm not a contractor, I don't have all the numbers, right? Um, so it just allows, um, you know, for things that are missed or, um, you, you know, it, it's an estimate, right? I have to say, um, you know, the climate for um, construction has just been really crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, so it, it's just hard to say. Um, we just got some bids back for a very small project that came out. Joanne, if you could, Joanne, we're... if you could just read the total so that everyone could hear it instead of me okay. walking around with my phone. So, so and can there hear the site preparation. Uh, so, site preparation includes like mobilization, removing, you know, vegetation and trees, um, grading, um, removing that granite curve and saving it, and then um, installing like sub grade, sub base. Uh, aggregate material, you know, for drainage underneath the the, the pavements, so that came out to forty eight thousand um, dollars. Then there's site furnishings, so that's all the products that they would buy, like the benches, the picnic tables, uh, the pergola, the trash, the swing. Um, I put lighting in there, the gardening boxes. So that number installed came out to 117580 And then um, all the rest, you know, that the contractor would build, the retaining wall, the curves, the concrete sidewalk, um, the paths, the stairs, the handrails, uh, the irrigation, the steps, um, the boulders. I put something in for sculpture installation and all the planting and all the fencing, that totaled, I'm just going to round it up, $230,000. So, so those three numbers came to $347,000 with a 20% contingency rounded up as like $70,000. So the total for construction is at $416,796. And then um, the second page is, a, I just took that number and I added the soft costs. So here's the hard costs at 416. You can take a picture if you want, I'll make it bigger. Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> I will, so that's later. I can even, even make it bigger. So the hard cost, this one over, was the 416,786. Uh, our fees um, are 51,000. I'm just going to get the 51,627. Um, we have two additional services, which um, 
they're the ten percent that we add on to the, uh, the our sub consultants. Um, so the structural engineers uh, fees are eighty five hundred, and the geotech engineer testing is eleven thousand five hundred. Um, and so the soft cost total seventy three thousand six twenty seven. Um, and so the total for the project is four ninety four twenty three. Julian, what are our um, time frames to make payment for certain phases? Um, so my office probably invoices you monthly. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not in charge of that part, right. but so um, we generally um, invoice per month for the percentage of the design phase that we're in. So at the end of this month, we would. Um, we're at it. Is it 100% design phase at the end of the month? Just for 100% design development. Yeah. Um, and that we would include the fees for the structural and the geotech uh, for this, you know, for up until June 1st, let's say. Um, so we still have construction document phase to go through. Um, and then once it goes out to bid, um, and we get um, bidders, or and we get you know contractors, and we get good bids, and we award the contract. Um, generally speaking, they also bid uh, invoice monthly, and what they'll do is they'll give us what's called a schedule of values. So, kind of similar to my cost estimate, they will have different categories, and they'll you know they're. For the category might say mobilization and kind of like they call it different things, but you know, mobilization and project startup and 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 then they'll they, they have other categories like maybe they have excavation, maybe they have, you know, um, uh, site furniture to purchase, landscaping. They'll have different categories and they'll they'll have a dollar amount uh, assigned right up front. They'll, they'll have a breakdown of um, what each category is worth, dollar amount. And every month they will um, uh, submit a, a payment requisition, um, which I review. Um, and you know they'll say, oh, we completed you know 80% of site mobilization, or and you know we had to purchase these things, so you know we we completed. 30% of this, and so they've already, you know, they, they would have already given us the schedule of values, the amounts, and every month they would bill invoice against that, and it's a, it's a, it's an application form that, you know, kind of has all the numbers there, and I review it for you um, to make sure that it's accurate and correct. Um, so you would be, you know, billed monthly and you know you pay according to how you know what percent of the project is complete will someone from your firm be out here often watching the progress against the design plans yes yeah, so we'll um, as part of um, the construction we call it the construction administration phase um, yeah we would call, we would have um, you know, either weekly calls, weekly construction calls with the contractor and whoever from, you know, the library would want to be on the call. Um, our consultants might be on the call um, depending on what's happening. So we would have, um, during construction, we most likely um, schedule weekly meetings um, to make sure that everyone knows what's going on, it's all coordinated. Um, and at certain times, we would come out to make sure that, especially like, um, you know, 
and Lake Mel wants just to have the the contractor out there and we have, you know we just review everything and like go out again when the contractor has staked the paths and we make sure that it's exactly how we want um, and anybody is invited to come to any of these um, site meetings um, and we will uh, like we'll go to the nursery and we'll pick all the plants um, back to you know to approve them. Uh, things like that. So we will be, um, you know, overseeing the contractor like, during during construction, and and then at the very end we do a final walkthrough and make sure that he's completed everything as per the drawings, and we do what's called a punch list. Uh, we we would go with you and the contractor um, to make sure that everything's done correctly, and maybe something comes up where. You know, you'd like something that hadn't been thought of before, you know, or something like that. You know, we can work with the contractor and things like that too, but um, we make sure that he's completed everything in his contract per the drawings. And you're done. <laughs> so. Okay, good. Any questions for anybody? What's our timeline looking at for the construction versus where we were? Because I feel like we had all these like geo drillings and everything kind of backed us up. Well, I, I think before. I think the last time um, was the the hope was to to start work in the fall, mm -hmm. if everything if everything goes according to plan, and possibly even have most of it done by the fall, by the end I should say the end of the fall. <laughs> yeah. Although if we get a nor'easter yeah. in September, that's going to obviously put a wrench in there. <clears throat> yeah, and I don't know how you're going to plant things in like October. Yeah, well, like shrubs, shrubs and trees. Yeah, that's when that's you want to plant. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah. the perennials would have to go in. Right. Yep. And some of the perennials, I, I put it in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Depending. Some you do. It yeah, really depends on the depends plant. Depends on what yeah. they are. Which we yeah. don't. Right. You know, the when the first yeah. frost is going to be. Right. So, anyway, I was just curious to see like. I know we keep adding things and like it has to you have to wait for us and we have to so adding I know things? what do we add well we added the the drilling oh okay. and then we had like the issue with that contract that we were going to award didn't work so we had to have another meeting and mm -hmm. I mean it's, it's gotten backed up right yeah so, well because yeah. the the original if everything had gone perfectly we were hoping something. to be we're supposed to underway be right now, spring. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're clearly not. So I was just wondering, like, at things this happen. point, yeah, things right. happen all the time. You know, where are we? How realistic is it that we'll be able to get contractors for then? Like, what are your thoughts on timeline for actually getting out there at this point? So if we finish the if, if the drawings are ready to go out to bid by the end of June, um, we could put it out to bid let's say the beginning of July, and we give the contractors maybe three weeks to provide a bid, maybe two to three weeks. It's not that big of a project for them. Um, so we would get their uh, proposals the end of July, and then we could choose a contractor by August, and he could start any time after that. And so you have August, September, October. Yeah, it was the same August, September, That's three October. months. It should, so it should be done right on the by end. the fall. Yeah, right on <laughs> yeah. the right on the borderline. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what? No, it's kind of right on the edge for yeah. for uh, planting. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on the, I know I've worked with landscape contractors, and if they can't finish, then they say, all right, it's in the contract. We'll come back in, Spring. you know, April and yeah. plant the perennials or whatever. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep, that's what would happen. Okay. All right. All right. Anyone have any questions for Joanne? Okay. We're good? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Okay, thank you. I'll resend that to um, you guys. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Joanne. Great. I'm gonna take have a, a good rest of the meeting. <laughs> thank you. Awesome.
There's Thank that you. one. Okay. Oh, go away. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wake us up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem to work, did it? Oh. It did. Yeah. Every, oh. every one of the lights in this does building that? does this now. Like, you go into the mailroom and the light comes on and then it, and goes, it goes off, off. and then it comes by and you're like, oh. I've had that happen now that you say that, yes. It's bad when you're in the men's room yeah. and the lights are <laughs> That is not good. Not at all. Talk about it's happened. It's happened, yeah. Well, we don't have to discuss it. <laughs> well, it's embarrassing if somebody comes in the door. You know. um, are we done with director's <laughs> report? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, before you go further, can I I'd like to go backwards and ask about sure. next year's budget, where we stand with that. Uh, the town meeting, It did. It, the yeah. budget was approved. Yeah. I actually do not have that with me tonight. I should have. They have not me. sent out. They will, eventually. I will get sent out. Um, all department heads will mm -hmm. a breakdown of our our approved budget. I think he's actually um, waiting for us. Okay. At this stage of the game, he kind of needs some numbers from us. From uh, us. Yes. What kind of numbers do we need to go? And didn't they? Wasn't our numbers part of the budget? Yes, they were, but like her. You don't have my okay. salary in there. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. That's so, okay. okay. Right. Is that the only thing we're waiting on, or that you should be the only right. thing? All, yes. all salaries are just yours. Just mine. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And um, the carpet went through in the end. No, she didn't put it. We didn't make the. Yeah, I was. I was told that the capital committee would take care of of moving it forward, and it turns out that we needed to put a warrant in for town meeting. So we'll put a warrant in for the October so town meeting, the and mm -hmm. okay. the funding will come after that. Yeah. I've I've had that experience. Where someone's <laughs> like, hey, look at that, and like, oh, well, you didn't find. Wow. Yeah, no, it was okay. You're you're all set to go, and you know, yes, we've moved it on to the next stage. And then it was, oh, by the way, so, yeah, yep, bureaucracy all that right. happens. Sure. All right, so moving on. So tonight is performance planning appraisal for the director. So um, following suit with what the town has done for management level. Um, I'll give everyone theirs, and I'm just asking you to state your rating, and if you choose to make a comment, um, that's fine. Nicole, and we're only, some people filled it out and filled out more than they had to. <laughs> um, so we're only doing part three, which is the competencies. So it's back to yours. It's You have yours. Yep. Mm -hmm. and my Kathy, why do I not have yours? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I brought my iPad in case. <laughs> well no, I had everybody's together. Did it get caught in someone's? That's really weird because they were all clumped together. I only have one. That's Pat's, that's <laughs> mine. Well done. And I'm happy you brought your thing because that's really I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm good. I am happy you have it. Um, would anyone like to volunteer to go first? So do you just do <laughs> overall? Or uh, you're going to do competencies and then overall rating at the end, the overall rating. Through all 18 We're just individually, just yeah, you can just list it and the rating. And if you have a comment that you want to reflect on, and then the overall, your overall um, rating. I mean, this is our first year doing this, so with this particular process, I, I don't know. So. What's that? I said the rubric was a little difficult. I know. Well, I had hoped to do it like we had done last time, and it was numerical, yeah. but it's not numerical. So it's very hard to compile when it's not numerical to do an average. So, um, Ed, would you like to start? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Pat? Uh, can I do my summation? Sure. Go through and uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, 
information. The library director has shown, Priscilla, has shown great, has strong, strong abilities in the following areas. Written and verbal communication, reaction to patient, uh, patron, I've been in too much time in hospital, though, patient, patron requests, maintenance of library collections and updates to technology, reaction to immediate facility needs that affect the safety of staff and patrons, and general functioning of the library, preparation and oversight of the library budget, preparation and submittal of reports required by the MBLC, preparation and submittal of town annual report, working relationship with staff from CW Mars, and working relationship with outside vendors, and this includes MLA Studios, and thank you for your work with MLA and coordinating all that. So much appreciated. Okay, things that I feel need improvement, and my overall rating with needs improvement, is relationship with staff, acknowledge good work, and acknowledge good ideas. Now, this is based on my observation with staff. So, relationship with trustees. They ask that you curb immediate negative reactions to questions, requests, as this sets stage for non-productive discourse. Take time to consider before responding, even if it means response is not immediate. Work on re uh, improving your relationship with town administration. Be more visible. Uh, a include attending occasional B uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting to promote an event. For example, the upcoming Pearl Jam concert series, also explaining how our digital sign is the victim of the supply sort, uh, shortage. So check on social media for program info. Continue to apply for grants when applicable. Increase visibility within the local community and the local library community. Um, I know in your, uh, your report, you stated that you've met with MBLC people and with people from Connecticut. But I'm sure there's also some groups in, in our, within our library community that meet uh, that perhaps uh, occasional joining in with them would be helpful. And also uh, continue to be creative in promoting library programs um, and get staff involved in brainstorming ideas if they aren't already. And I'm sorry, did you say your overall performance? This needs improvement, yes. Kathy, do you want to go next? No, I'm sorry, I'm just writing for the... Yep, I am. My overall rating was meets expectations. And uh, I, I said that uh, she was great at maintaining the collections. She um, excelled at developing library budget for presentation to trustees in town, manages the library within the budget. Um, also representing the library at meetings of the CWMRs, um, I thought uh, she exceeded the expectations. I think that um, personnel management, she could develop better relationship with the subordinates. Um, when I had come in to the library and just asked how are things going, how is the morale around here, it seemed a little bit low. And we did have some people that uh, left. And I didn't know whether um, you monitored the goals of the staff uh, and shared the staff ideas if they are given credit for their ideas or how open it is. I don't know how that situation is, so I couldn't rate that. Uh, I, I thought that some of the staff didn't feel supported or part of a team, and they could feel a little more appreciated. Um, and I had also thought to, during the pandemic when the restrictions were being eased um, we were a little reluctant to open and we thought that the, the MBLC recommendations to open we thought 
that you said that they didn't want to, and it was a suggestion, it wasn't a mandate type of thing, that was confusing to us at the time. And I wonder if maybe community outreach could be a little bit improved, a little more for different school groups and that kind of thing. But my overall rating was meet, meets expectations. Okay. Okay. Um, so overall, I also said meets expectations. Um, for leadership, I had meets expectations. Um, you know, just, again, I also don't know exactly what, it's hard to say, like, you know, what is your exact relationship with the people there, but when I go in, you know, everyone's friendly to each other. I often see you out at the front desk or stopping by to check out the children's area. So I don't know if everyone's just coming in at different times, but I can say, like, when I'm there in the middle of the day with my kid, it really seems like, you know, people are happy, people are talking to each other. It, it just seems kind of more jovial than um, what others are saying. So maybe it's just time of day or, you know, what we're all walking in on and, I think that if we had maybe some feedback from the staff in particular, anonymously or something, it, it would work better. Um, again, you know, I felt the same way for control and follow-up, like I do not feel that I have the information necessary to decide if you are monitoring goals and, and feeding them because we would have to ask them, I think, would be the um, my thoughts on that. Um, organizing and planning, I would say, you know, definitely meeting. I said, based on the end result of the library running smoothly and the updates that we received, she seems to be on top of all the projects that she needs to get done and getting them done in a timely manner. Um, I put me, this could also be, you know, exceed, really, because everything facilities-wise is done really quickly. Um, you know, I feel like, like I said, everything everything's running, you know. We have, we have a library with a ton of great programs that is doing really well. Um, judgment, I left that blank because... I don't know, um, assuming that she's talking about like courses of action with decisions with staff. I don't know, courses of actions with decisions with, um, you know, facilities and stuff seems great. Um, so all of this was cooperation with others and again, I just kind of felt like we would need to speak to them and um, I know we had spoken with the town manager said that like that's kind of not an okay thing to go and mm -hmm. individually ask them. So I left those blank. Um, budget and cost control, definitely meeting. Um, trustee interaction, I said needs improvement. Uh, my comment was, I think that the communication with the trustees needs improvement. I believe this is an issue that stems kind of from both sides. Um, and the relationships overall should be worked on and improved. Um, I don't know if that's an issue of just like, we have different ideas of like what we should be doing, what she should be doing, different ideas that we have over the other person. Um, you know, <laughs> on the risk of sounding cliche, maybe we need like some bonding activities or I don't team know, building. like team let's go building. do some team building. Like, we need go. something. There's yep. there needs something. Some some improvement needs to happen there, yep. I think on you know, like a social level and also like just a kind of figuring out roles level. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that that's not against the director that's kind of just overall I feel that that needs some improvement um, public town professional interaction I said meets um, it seems like generally she's at all the meetings the CWRs meetings the MBLC meetings um, I know professional development you have to stay so only Lita can go but I know that you had her sign up for things for you as well so I feel like we are in it I guess I want um, clarification on that. Why does she have to stay and Lita has to go? Be, I just um, want a clarification. Because you, you guys have been the one that one stay. supervisor must be in the building thing. at all times. Right. So, so, yes, absolutely. Right, but you could go and Lita can be in the building. I, I think that's... Well, I mean, they can't right? both go. Yes. Is what so right. we've, so we've yeah. had to choose in the past so, which is going yeah. to be more yeah. effective yeah. for the library right. as a whole. Yeah. So, but I know that they worked on that. Like, it wasn't just like... Well, I can't go, so I will miss it. She sat down with Lita and said, like, mm -hmm. these are the ones that could you please attend for me and take notes. I thought that was good. Yeah. Uh, library co collection, I said meets. You know, I think we have a great collection. Um, she's clearly keeping up with it. Public relations slash marketing, I said exceeds, um, mainly because I've noticed that recently, like, the Facebook page and everything that you guys are doing is really working. I know it bings up on my Facebook all the time. All the moms I know are on it. They're saying they want to go to this and sharing that. And 
Um, so I feel like that's something that we should shine um, and say, like, this is going really, really well. And then facility management, I put exceeds um, because we've had a lot of issues <laughs> in the last few months. And um, I feel like she does deal with them in a timely manner. So, and then overall, I just said, you know, needs. Okay. So I will start mine, and I'm probably going to go over several different areas. So I'm just going to say that um, where I feel that you exceed expectations, um, budget and cost control, I feel you are very good about staying within the budget guidelines. You're knowledgeable about state requirements. Can, you know, the reports are always handed in a timely manner. Um, and then the library collection, again, um, you've made appropriate acquisitions based on the goals that were set forth um, and any patron requests. Facility management, I feel you exceed. Uh, facility issues are handled in a very timely manner and we are very appreciative that you know how to physically do many tasks. <laughs> Um, and you have come in on your own time and done uh, physical improvements. Uh, your knowledge of ba uh, the computer base and software, and you can troubleshoot very well. Um, that. Um, areas that I feel you meet expectations would be um, control and follow up as far as goals. I feel. I would like to see you set more challenging goals. I feel that you met them so quickly, like they were met probably by mid-year. And I would like to see more challenging goals um, set forth. Organizing and planning, I feel that you meet expectations. Um, I feel in uh, decisiveness, I feel you meet expectations. You do things in a timely as far as the facility is concerned. Flexibility, you meet expectations. Written and oral communication, I feel you meet expectations. Staff interaction, I was, needs improvement, meets expectations. Um, I'd like to see that to improve um, a little bit with budget information and information, you know, getting handed down to staff in a, in a timely manner. Um, uh, meets expectations and needs improvement was public and town professional interaction. Um, I'd like to see you be more visible with the town boards and promote our library and services so that they have an understanding of our needs so that when budget requests are made, it'll be more easily understood by the board. Um, and then let's see. Leadership. I feel needs improvement, reliability needs improvement, public relations and marketing I needs improvement as far as the website and being on top of any um, links that may not be working or whatever, being more on top of that. Um, seems to be and attracting more, you know, attracting new patrons and being more visible within the community. And then, um, where I felt it was below expectations was um, judgment, interpersonal, trusty interaction were all I felt below expectations. <clears throat> and then, Unsatisfactory, um, I, I feel cooperation, unsatisfactory. And my uh, total overall was needs improvement. I'd like to see um, more challenging goals and objectives set forth. Um, I'd like more frequent meetings with the trustees, whether it's the chair or, or whatever for, to review strengths and weaknesses, collaborate with you to create a better relationship. Um, I'd like to see, you know, maybe some training, for, um, improve working as a team with the trustees in collaboration with the whole board. Um, improving the relationship with staff and including them in the planning goals, activities, and training. Uh, more recently, 
as far as staff training, I had to ask two staff members how to use something and neither one could help me. And it was something I feel if you're not there and leader's not there, they couldn't help a, pa a patron, so that bothered me. So I was kind of like, we need to do some staff training in that area. And I'd like you um, tell me what that was specifically so that I can the Libby app. Okay. Not everybody knows there were two employees that couldn't help me and I had to go to Lita um, for assistance. Okay. Well, I have a little different perspective probably. Um, what I'm looking for as a trustee is a well functioning um, operation that when the public comes in and sees the place and watches what's going on leaves with a good feeling I have spent my money wisely I'm supporting this so I'm looking looking at these things differently now I don't love the only two things I really you know staff interactions hard for me to tell because there are a lot of times I'm, I'm not there I don't see that and then there are times I am there, and I do see it, so I know better about that, but not the full thing. And that would go the same thing with leadership. That's different. I'm not seeing that one either because of, of how I interact with everybody in the building. But generally, on everything else, I was at exceeds expectations because the product is good. And the product couldn't be good if the team wasn't working. Now, team sometimes isn't happy, I'll tell you that. I've worked in this in, in situations like this where everybody has a little grumble, you know. Oh, I don't know about this, I don't. That's normal. Um, what about hours and coming and going and all of that stuff? This is a professionally run organization Priscilla's position is, is as a professional, even though they like to break it out and say there are hours. No, it's you do the job. Her, she's paid to do the job. And I know if I pick up the phone, I'm gonna get an answer. And it doesn't matter when it, when it is. She's doing the job. And it's her job to figure out when she's here, how best to serve, what times are gonna work around a very difficult um, group of staffing. I mean, you have issues coming up all the time. So I get there sometimes in the morning and I go, wait, well, didn't we have a person on this morning? Well, we did till the person calls out sick. So who's in early? She's covering. Right, and for a long time, we didn't even have a sub, right? Yeah, so you know, that and was... it's been difficult. And I know that she I stayed late. Have, I don't know if we have a sub. We don't technically have one now. Yeah. We don't have one. So we had one that we didn't have, we'll say that. Yeah. And then we don't have one. So I know that she stayed there sometimes, mm -hmm. like from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, I know you and I have had the conversation that comp time, like she just could never use all of her comp time because no. she's there so much, so. Yeah, but I, I've worked in positions like that mm -hmm. and it's just part of what, what you, you do. do. You like your organization, you do everything you have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some people would say, oh, gee, he floats in and floats out. Yeah, he floats in and out and in and out when you're not here and when you're not worried and at home. And, you know, so that, that stuff I kind of I kind of dismiss as um, typical, typical kinds of grumblings from others that are working on a clock and don't understand uh, the time and the pressure that goes with that position. Um, but generally, as a, as a trustee, I am pleased to talk to people about our library. And everybody in town seems to be delighted. And I say, yes, we've got a good, a good running operation here. So be happy. You know, that's where I stand. My overall thing is exceeds expectations. And I come from another side of this. <laughs> Facilities, collections, budget, outside meetings, all super, all, mm -hmm. all above, mm -hmm. all above. But looking around this table, I've probably been involved with the library the longest. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we've had a roller coaster of morale in the 
library, the workers. It's been a roller coaster. I mean, we've had some very lows, some very highs. Right now, we're at one of our lows. And I just know that because I know the people and they do talk to me just because I walk in and they grab my ear. And we are at a low at the moment, um, which I'd like, obviously, to see change. Um, I think the biggest one is leadership and training and recognizing the abilities of the different staff members and putting them to work and not walking in and seeing some people doing nothing for a good period of time. And I just, it's a, it's a leadership thing with me, I guess. I mean, I, my thing is needs improvement overall. I think she has great strengths and I would just like to utilize our staff members better. We, uh, we have room to grow. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody else has summed up with so many good things, and it, it is true. Um, mm -hmm. Just overall, I, I think it's basically leadership. So we skipped job duties, right? We we didn't do part one. We no, did we that in February. Or part two. Oh, OK. That's why we were only doing part Can three. Can I add something for this. Now? Of course. Um, in your uh, re report for this month, um, and looking at all the all the programs that are coming up. I mean, I, I can really see that there was an uptick in everything you've done over the last couple months. And that's great, and I hope that that energy can continue. But as I look at your report, I see Lita and I see I. I don't see staff mentioned. You don't mention staff in your report. They're part of your team, no I in team. And um, I think that's important. I think they need to be recognized more for their efforts. And put them to work. I yeah. mean, they're, they're mm -hmm. intelligent people. Absolutely. But at the same time, they are part-timers. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be overburdened, but at the same time, they should be doing... Something. Yes. Right. The things should be done in the uh, library at all times. There's always something to be done. Now that the budget has passed, um, Drusilla, will you be putting out um, an ad for that position? I cannot do that until I am notified by John Ruda that I am able okay. to do but so. But that will be the next. Actually, I think a good thing to do would be a job description first, because I'm sure that has to pass through personnel and be approved. Um, and I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, for that. Yeah, this is that a 30-hour position, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. to take on more responsibility mm -hmm. to help with, lessen the burden of you know staffing yeah some admin some oversight yep. of the web social yep. media yep. i think that would be a big help so i'm curious um as like kind of a newer trustee obviously i'm the newest um and i've, I've been trustee you know the least amount of time you have a huge amount of time with it very you know i feel like you guys just have a lot of history with it um Generally, you mentioned that the staff aren't, you know, in the report, but are the staff supposed to be like running programs? Like, how would they? No, no, be? I don't mean run programs. No, just, just, just what, what, just mention them. What's happening? Are they getting training? Mm. Uh, are you know, are they attending workshops? Or I see, I get emails from library with all kinds of workshops going on. Are they attending? Uh, do they have the option? Do they know about them? You know. Um, and occasionally, if. Uh, a staff person had an interest and kind of made the suggestion for the program, which would happen, mm -hmm. they would be allowed to, and if they would be asked, if they wanted to, to introduce, even though Lena or Drusilla, the director and the children's director, would be in the building, right. you know, let them grow. And yes, if you want to carry this, because you planned it, you organized it, you're the ones who brought it forth to me, and they were encouraged to do that, and so they would lead a program. I mean, basically, it's introducing. Like it's just basically introducing, usually, what it right. is. And then, you know, it just gave them a sense of ownership. Ownership. Yeah. So, overall, you would like to see, like, workshops for staff. What are they doing? Like, what? Well, there's plenty of there them. Are yeah, workshops there are workshops out there. There's plenty, yeah. Right. So, just are our staff going to them? Yeah, are, a lot of it's online now. Anyway, right. You know making them aware or encouraged if there's one that's going to help you know there's a lot on security safety um, well COVID obviously that 
is continuing, so I don't know if there's going to be more on that. But I've seen a lot late, lately on safety. Because um, if they had someone Libby, you know, that would be. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you know, that would be. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I know you mentioned the programs. That was one place where I said, like, definitely we seem to be exceeding, you know, kind of to, to second. What Ed was saying, if you look at what our library is doing compared to other libraries, I know moms tell me all the time, I have moms from Webster that I'll see at Dudley and they'll say, wow, we're here all the time because we show up at Webster and there's nothing to do. Or they haven't changed their crafts or, you know, whatever. And, and you know, Webster is great. And I was there all last summer. They had an amazing summer program. And I'm just saying that what I'm hearing from moms is that Dudley is shining right now. Like, no, that's just... Nice day. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. That's you know? excellent to hear because that's a different group. Mm -hmm. Right, and yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like the hours that I'm there, you know, I know there have been some issues with like people showing up and, and she's not there. But the hours I'm there, which are like the normal daily hours, like I've mm -hmm. never not seen her there unless it was like, oh, yeah, she's at an appointment or you know something very specific. That mm -hmm. so again, like I just have that different perspective, and I know part one, I think I probably wasn't here for that part. It was <laughs> so, uh, January right. February meeting. I'm not sure. The February meeting? I'm not sure. I yeah, it was either January or February. I think it was the February yeah. meeting. It, was that it might have been the, the second first half when I was the away. First two sections. Yeah. It might have been the meeting I called in. Yeah. And then it might have Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the budget I put exceeds, public relations exceeds. So, yeah, I, mean, I just feel like there's a big range. Mm -hmm. um, do we come up with an overall rating, or is this just kind of for? Still to have the information. I'm not sure what uh, past practice has been. I don't know. Well, we left very, we, there, yeah. there should be it's just one system. sheet that has kind of an yes. overall yeah. collection. Because I, I was going to take from what we did in February and attach it mm -hmm. to this because the town, you know, to send it to John Rota. Right. And that's what gets signed. Mm -hmm. So, I guess where do we. Where, where do we how do we kind of wrap um, it up so that? I'm not sure I would say the next part would be um, developing maybe some, uh, what's what's the next step to, you know. What does the town do with other departments? That I, I don't know. Like they read it at a meeting, but I'm not sure. Well then I July, have to go as a guide and July starts the process over again, at least right. for the part timers. Yeah. So, so that, that would be to develop goals. new goals and new objectives yeah. so that we can incorporate where we want to see improvements. So the, the last uh, page eight is action plan for further professional development. Right. And I think that I, needs to yeah. be developed next. Yeah. So would that be like a next month's meeting or would that be before July or would that be July? I don't know. I guess I would have to ask the town administrator what yeah. the next step would be. But it's not now, right? No. Okay. Well, it says to be completed at the end of the appraisal period when setting objectives for the following period. Mm -hmm. Is that now? So that's I would say it's well, after July one. Based, yeah, based on this information. So yeah, mm -hmm. between now and, and the end, end, of, yeah. end of June. So it would have to be June. It would be the next meeting. Yeah. And I guess so for Drusilla, should we kind of discuss like overall? You know what? What I me? Mean, what her thoughts are? Oh, what? I was going to ask her. Ask her oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's obviously sitting here listening <laughs> to all yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. you want to put together a plan? Any comments? Yeah. 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 Comments? Yeah. Yeah. comments yeah. Questions? Not because I. This is. I need to think about this exactly. before she's I know if I have any she's comments. She's got to digest it all. Yeah. Right. Right. I feel like we're kind of all throwing a lot yeah. at her. Yeah. You know, and a little disjointed because we all have very different perspectives. So. so, for the June, um, for our June meeting, maybe we can um, can meet with you and see what actions you're thinking about incorporating okay. for your goals. Mm -hmm. yeah.
do we finalize this? I don't remember. An executive session like in June? No. No, that I know of. It's Thank an you. open meeting. Yeah. So do we submit to someone like a final performance mm -hmm. rating or yes, is this going to go to the town administrator? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically a compilation of um, of everyone's yeah. comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how do we compile? <laughs> I guess. That, that's the hardest part is right. yeah, I can because compile and put everyone's comments in each section. Right. I can do that. But the ratings, I don't know, the ratings are very different. Yeah, the ratings are extremely different. So it'd be easier to average a number thing, but that's it's not why I, yeah, yeah. and we I was hoping when I numbers. said I was like, Oh, I can compile that. Yeah. Right. That's what we did last time, it was numbers and this time when I sat down after I got everybody's and kinda of was like, uh, these are not the same and they're not numbered and that's very hard to average right. what everyone's ratings are. So mm -hmm. I can definitely compile everyone's comments into, um, you know, the area mm -hmm. after I put in all the um, the reviews from February on all, all that, and then I'll add all our comments. But as far as the ratings go, I don't know how I mean, to do that. I might have to ask because it seems like in some areas, you know, those of you who feel that she's not meeting what, with the well, you got, it's like it's like needs you know, improvement are in right. specific it's specific areas, yes, yes. It is. right? Yes. And then there are areas where like clearly we all believe she's yes. either meeting yes. or exceeding. Yes. Exactly. Right. And there are areas we all believe that she is in fact exceeding, right? Mm -hmm. Like we could all say at facilities yeah, right. she's exceeding, yeah. like yes. you yeah. know managing the library she's exceeding programs she's exceeding, right? right? Um, so with that range, it seems like we could say like overall, like meets. I'm going to, yeah, I was sitting there, you know, trying to do it, as you say, not numbers, right. but I think we had needs to exceeds overall, and I would say it's meets, maybe, a, you know, if we can shade it a little, it's a, it's a little below meets. meets. expectation and needs. needs a, yeah, and needs and yeah, I think it's right somewhere right, there. I think it's right there. Yeah, I don't I know mean, how we could say... I mean, if we're all sitting here saying facilities is exceeding, programs are exceeding, like, but the relationship, I mean, that's the main thing, right? Relationships need improvement. And if behind the scenes relationships are the thing that needs improvement, our relationships, maybe relationships between her and the employees, but the town sees a fully functional, like shining library that literally the town people tell me is the best one in the area, you know, how would we say that she needs improvement overall? Well, uh, no one's perfect, and I, I feel that there's two sides of it. There's the business side, and there's that, you know, what public, the patrons see in the public side, side. Mm -hmm. and that's where I feel you don't maybe haven't had as many interactions with Drusilla on the business side. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's you see the patron side. Right, yeah. which I feel is really important, though. And that's really why I feel though. it's, yeah. it's right. it is. It is very right. important, <laughs> but so is the, it, it is very important, but right. so is the business side. Yeah. You look it at doesn't run without it. Yeah. And, and both sides are included. Yeah. Right, right. I just feel like if we say overall that she would need improvement, then we're really overlooking the fact that, you know, well, you the library excel. is running so well, you know? I mean, I have no problem with giving an overall meets expectations yeah. because we've had this discussion. Right. Right. And she's she's on it. I mean she cares. She's not right. Cool. And I agree. Public concession is probably more important. If this is gonna be a public document, I rather say meets and program because that's the library. Right. Right. And I'm for the library. Yeah. And she's heard where we have concerns and it'll be done with. But I mean I think it's definitely meets. You know, if, if we had to Choose between the two, I go meet. Well, and then the, the needs improvements would we would talk next month about like actions to be taken by employee, maybe like suggesting workshops, signing people up for workshops, like and then we can give her mm -hmm. harder help her develop harder yeah. goals for next year. Yeah. But 
I mean, I would find it very hard. I could not stand personally behind saying that she needs improvement when our library is doing so well. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I hear you. Yeah. No, I hear you. I, I understand that, but yeah. you have to understand. There, there are definitely different. There's the back side of the library, and there's the front side. Yeah. And you can exceed in one, but need improvement in the other. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I just, and that's where I feel I can't say meets expectations where there are areas she does need to improve. Yeah. But and I would like to see improvements. I know she can. Like, I know she can do that. Yeah, and I know someone mentioned like people left, but no one quit because they didn't have a good time at the library. Like no one was like, oh, this is a horrible place to work and quit. Like I know someone got a full time job, someone retired. So like to say that these things are so horrible, just I don't think anyone said that. Right, right, but it would have to be pretty horrible if you're saying that the front end of the library is exceeding, and these back end things are so bad that overall she needs improvement. No one's saying they're that bad. No. They're not that bad. They need improvement. Right. That's so exceeding needs improvement. improvement. Or your middle would be meeting. I you just know, you, can, you can see it go into a store and you can get great service, but you don't know what's going on behind. Right. I mean, I I worked with a major company, uh, and we handled just the customer service side of it. You know, and um, people didn't see all that stuff that went on behind. They just knew when I came in, if that that worker was going to treat me well. That's all they cared about, and right. that's what you're seeing when people are saying how great the library is. Absolutely, there's always stuff that goes on in the background. Always, and that needs improvement. <laughs> usually, usually in every place, right? Um, <laughs> so. When we got this form. Mm -hmm. What did we add? Needs improvement, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. This form came out to us with <laughs> exceeds, meets, below, unsatisfactory. And we said, that was too drastic a difference, mm -hmm. going from meets to below. There was no needs improvement. Pat added that with right. our agreement. I said, yes, it's, I mean, it's not life or death. You know, it's right. not one or the other. Mm -hmm. There's right. got to be a gray area that we want to improve, you know. Um, when I was, um, in, in school, I went to art school. I had a teacher who was very well respected in his business. He was a professional um, designer. And um, he said, the minute that you feel you know everything in your job, it's time to look for a new job. And I always, I always took that to heart. You know, I always feel that I, there's something for me to learn, there's something for me to do better. And I think that's true of every, you know, I, I would never say when I was doing a self eval that I was like whatever the top one was. I mean, exceeds. Exceeds. Right. Yeah. I mean, there were some things that I felt I did, but I actually had a, uh, a boss who would change my ratings to lift them up. And I explained to him, I said, there's always something to be improved upon. If, if, if I can't improve, then what's what's the use you know it's like yeah just, I hear you just that keep, you just keep working toward being better but we're not arguing that she's exceeding versus needs improvement like I would say like we're meeting and she needs well, improvement I think we to exceed, already got right? there yeah. I think we already got there I don't we don't I don't know do we do do we need to keep talking about yeah. it yeah, no, I I'm just, so. I, I thought yeah. the question was whether or not she's meeting or needs improvement I think I feel that she meets and needs like it's it, it is in between the two right that's what I thought we were still discussing so. because so I think that's kind of overall possibly where some of us are well I'm I'm meet slash needs okay and I think there's four here who are um meets needs so should we go around and just say where we all are at? I, I think we, I think it's we all, already did. Isn't it? I think it's all, it's all yeah, ridiculous yeah. anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah I, I she's she's meeting your expectations. Just, yeah, but things need this. to be uh, yeah. tweaked. We could be right. here for, for yeah. hours trying yeah. to sort that. When you have an issue, address it. When we have an issue, we should address it. Now, should we meet more? Yeah, but do we want to meet more? No, <laughs> and we're busy with this project. You know, that's really sucked up a lot of our time. Yeah. And, and we haven't had any chance here to get, you know, who are you and how, how do you see this and where are we going? It's always an agenda and we've got to get through the agenda and everybody wants to get the hell out. You know? 
And I understand that. But someone doesn't get to leave. Someone has right. to stay there. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm real happy with her being there. I think overall she's doing a great job and we have a great library I, and I don't it would mean her. Yeah, I mean her. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> so. Anyway, so I I wouldn't we could be forever yes. trying to quantify it's never going to work. Yes. Okay. So we don't hand anything in then. <laughs> I mean, this is, the town came up with this, but I think it's just not not worth it. Well, you need some some place to have a conversation and the start of a conversation. Yeah. So. Okay. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Any more comments on that? All right. Um, our next meeting will be June 28th at 6.15, but I want to back up a little bit, and I want to <laughs> thank Pat <laughs> for her many, many years of service to the board. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to begin because I'm not even sure how many years, Pat, but I know it's over a decade. We ended 15. This will okay. be 15. So it's been 15 years you've been... And you have done so many things that no one knows about behind the scenes, and you have been very knowledgeable. Good things. <laughs> <laughs> very knowledgeable. <laughs> provide wonderful guidance, and I have to say, you've been so patient with me, <laughs> and I appreciate that. Um, so, thank you very much for your time. I, I do appreciate thank you that. All. Thank we you. do have. We do have. Uh -oh. oh. Ooh, is it alive? <laughs> no. I don't know. We're throwing it here. It's, 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 it's a chicken. It's a chicken. Oh, yeah. uh, chicken. In Dudley, I don't know if that's yeah, a well, good thing. <laughs> so, thank you. I will let you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and thank you. I don't. I don't think the board could thank you enough for all your contributions and the helping of building the new library and how many hours. And in this position, we all sit here and we volunteer our time, mm -hmm. and you have volunteered above and beyond yes. your time, and it is really appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's been mostly a pleasure. <laughs> You've so, been such a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. You do. Yeah, yes. So so helpful. Yes, yes. That's because I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because you're a sage and you have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> Just one tidbit. She was a volunteer, not even on the board, when we started the new planning for the new library. Ah. And she was so much a part of getting approvals from the town. Oh, yeah. Her wordsmithing and planning and organizing and her graphics that we used mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did so much. And we hope to still get you up for those oh sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> she may be Anytime. retired, but she's yeah, not going yeah. far, folks. Yeah. <laughs> we know, how we know where she lives. <laughs> we yeah. know where she is. But no, I mean. I still. The Pearl, the new Pearl is a major thanks yes. to this young lady. Yes. I, I remember the uh, the meeting. We were, it was a town meeting, and, and it was just you, Ben, and Dot, uh, parent. And you had found out she was going to be moving, so oh, yeah. she had to leave the board. And I was walking in, and all of a sudden, two men came rushing toward me. It was Bill Five and, and Ben. And they said, you want to be a trustee? <laughs> and I remember the other side of that story is, I don't know if it was the same meeting or the next meeting, at the town hall, you came up to me and said, yes, with her husband right behind her. And I grabbed her and said, thank you! And just kind of looked at me. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't do that. Yes. He probably felt like it sometime over the last 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any other comments from any other trustees? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's thank more thank you. Um, so our next meeting is June 28th at 6.15. And we are now going to, if someone, do I, can I read that or does someone else have to read that? Um, I can make a motion if you like. Uh, please. Okay, I make a motion to uh, adjourn from the public meeting uh, to convene into executive session under MGL Chapter 30A, Section 21A2 to conduct strategy session in preparation for negotiations 
with non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining session or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. Meeting will not reconvene in open session. Um, that's the only question. I know I have that there, but after we are done the negotiation part, um, I should have asked, do we need to reconvene an open session and approve to approve? I believe we do. All right. So okay, so I have to amend that to say we'll about that last sentence. Yeah. I'm sorry. So yeah, we I'm will we right. will reconvene an open session. Yes. All right. Um, we are done. Second. I think we have to oh, take this roll call. Oh, we do. It, we have to second oh, that. That's a roll call? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. We'll go this way okay. for a change. Ed Bazinet, yes. Joyce Nardinsky, yes. Anna Corcutro, yes. Pat Corch, yes. Okay. Unanimous. 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 Right. Discussion. Yeah. All in favor, we already did. Aye. Aye. Okay. So does that mean Ted has to stick around for No, I don't public? think it has to. No, no, no not okay. for <laughs> Oh, but afterwards, we're all no, done. for the no. no. I know you paused right now. Oh, yeah. You said you're going to reconvene in an you know, open meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to stay. Why oh, No. Well, I shut it down. Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. We can reconvene an open meeting for that brief one little thing and be done with that. Um. So uh, what I, I asked Drusilla to stay for a few minutes for the beginning of it. Because